Project C-1905 Tranche 1, Royal Australian Navy's Future Mine Countermeasures System. Saab Australia and Exhale are in the running to deliver deployable mine countermeasures and military survey capability to the Royal Australian Navy as part of Project C-1905 Tranche 1. The requirement makes up the first tranche of the larger C-1905 project, which will eventually replace all of the Navy's existing MCM and survey capabilities. Thank you and welcome to this channel. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and click the bell icon to receive a notification when new content is released. While later Tranche 2 of C-1905 will completely overhaul the Navy's capabilities, the goals of Tranche 1 are more modest. According to Defence Australia, the objective of Tranche 1 is to rapidly acquire a proven solution that can be containerized for deployment from shore or aboard vessels of opportunity. The C-1905 Project the initial system has minimal Australian industry content requirements due to its rapid acquisition and speed to capability focus. Whereas Tranche 1 is taking a rapid, platform agnostic approach, the goal of Tranche 2 is to replace Australia's dedicated mine countermeasures vessels, MCM, and hydrographic ships with new platforms. The current fleet, composed of four Huon class coastal mine hunters and two Lewin class survey ships, is aging, with the latest vessel commissioned in 2003. Exhale offerings. Exhale offering for Tranche 1 is based on its unmanned MCM information system, UMIS, which will equip the future MCM vessels of the Dutch and Belgian navies as part of the MCM program. Australian firm Total Marine Technologies, TMT, who are lined up to deliver deep diving remotely operated vehicles. French firm Allseamer will provide underwater gliders, and Mission Systems will provide software and integration support. Saab Australia offering. Saab Australia, meanwhile, is leading a team made up of Lidos, Sonar Tech Atlas and Sea Bytes in pursuit of the requirement. Within the team, Saab is acting as the overall systems integrator, bringing together software from Lidos, and an advanced mission management system from Sea Bytes, with uncrewed surface and subsurface vessels from Sonar Tech Atlas. Kraken Robotics Sensors for both offerings. Canada's Kraken Robotics, which builds a variety of sensors, batteries and recovery systems for UOVs, is involved in at least two of the original three bids. Kraken Robotics Solution is likely the Catfish High-Speed Toad Synthetic Aperture Sonar. Saab Australia or Exhale will likely secure the contract regardless of the decision. Thanks for watching. Thanks for visiting this YouTube channel. Visit GlobalDefenseCorp.com. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and TikTok.